Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Today of her life, Marissa Valdez's mom is sharing her daughter's story with targeted investigator Susan Samples, hoping it will raise awareness, prompt conversations, and save lives. Marissa Valdez is forever 24. What do you think my babies would grow up? They know how I'm, I'm in heaven. What do, you, what do you say about their dad? I don't even know what to tell them about them. Davion Franklin initially tried to say as the couple struggled over the gun, he accidentally shot his girlfriend at least three times. But there was no evidence that Valdez had ever reached for the gun and no sign that the shooting was accidental, especially since Franklin unloaded a lot more than three bullets into the woman with whom he shared a home and two young children. He shot her nine times. Why would somebody shoot somebody many times with their babies right there? Anyone on the emergency? You're sure she's dead? Yes, I am. Uh, I cannot believe this is happening right now. Police say nine 40 caliber bullets struck the young mother as her children slept within arm's reach. But theirs were not the only heartbeats in that room. She was pregnant. Oh my God. But only did he kill her. <laughs> when she had my grandbaby. And the babies were in the room when it happened. Marissa was five months along with the couple's third child. For hours now, friends and family of the victim have been gathered on the other side of this apartment building. I said, the guy did it. I don't want her to be by herself. I need to be with her. <laughs> now we're sort of me. She's like, I'm a mom too. It's okay. You can't go in there to the police. She's not by herself. I said, you please let me go. Abram spotted her grandchildren standing with DeLeon Franklin's mom. He had called his mother before 911. So I run over there and I grab both of them. And she just looks at me. And she's just crying. Uh, uh, I can't believe this is happening. 
If there were warning signs in the young couple's relationship, it seems everyone missed them. The pair had broken up and gotten back together twice, but Marissa never reported violence, not to the police and not to family and friends. At gatherings, Franklin often hung back, not used to a large, love-out-loud family like Marissa's. He was very quiet, but respectful, said Abram, and the family worked hard to include the man they called Day-Day. The Day-Day that I knew, If they would have told me at the time it was somebody else, that's what I would have believed. I wouldn't have believed it then. So? He fooled me. The couple had lived together for four and a half years. Franklin mostly stayed home with the children, while Marissa worked full-time as a medical assistant and dreamed of one day running her own online boutique. She took care of him, her babies, herself, kept a full-time job, had insurance. She, he never did anything. Why didn't he just shoot himself if he didn't want to be around her? Franklin later told police he and Valdez had been under a lot of stress, had been arguing all the time about their relationship, about money. He said he felt like nothing he did was ever good enough for Valdez. He also mentioned that one of his biggest fears was not being able to see his children all the time, but having to pay child support. He mentioned, too, that Valdez and his mom, Franklin's mom, were the only two people in his life. At one point in his two-hour police interview, Franklin told detectives his life had been going crazy and he had felt, quote, something like demons on him. On the day of the murder, Franklin told police Marissa had become angry, was yelling at him and reaching for the gun he kept close by because he said he was paranoid about break-ins. Franklin told detectives that after the first shot, which he claimed was accidental, he blacked out and could not remember firing the next eight rounds. For a dozen years, Rachel Westman has prosecuted domestic murders in Kent County, including that of Marissa Valdez. In the last couple of years, there's just been more and more domestic violence related homicides. Westman calls it a crisis and says it's not getting enough attention, in part due to lack of awareness. It happens behind closed doors. When abuse escalates to murder, Westman says it's common to find no documented history of violence. Everyone's kind of asking questions going, what, what was happening in that household before that? You know, what, was there things happening and we just kind of missed it? Westman wants to normalize conversations about domestic abuse, which can be mental, not physical. She encourages you to ask friends and family about domestic relationships, especially if you notice controlling behavior. We missed everything. If there were signs, we missed it. Um, I just want to say that I'm sorry to everybody. DeLeon Franklin pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and assault causing miscarriage, for which he'll spend 25 to 50 years in prison. I definitely made an emotional decision, and I definitely have to live with it every day. You don't deserve my sister, you never did. Marissa's brother, in a shirt honoring his sister, spoke for the family. I'm grateful for my niece, Amira, and my handsome boy, Amir. I'm thankful for them. But you, you scarred them for life. Your Honor, this man deserves the maximum years that he could receive for the nine senseless shots. By sharing Marissa's story, her family hopes to save other children from losing a parent, or, as in this case, both parents. I still wake up in the morning for that split second until I feel more babies right next to me because that's when I sleep. And I remember she's going to miss out on so much. Nicole Abrams said she couldn't save her daughter, but she's hoping Marissa's story will prompt families to check in on their loved ones because the warning signs might not be obvious. Abram and her husband are raising Marissa's two children. If you or someone you know need help, call the National Domestic Violence Helpline at the number on your screen, 800-799-7233. I'm Target 8 Investigator Susan Sanders. Thanks for watching. 
we appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.